Good day, ladies and gents. There is a new update in Escape from Tarkov. We got a new trader uh, called Referee, Escape from Tarkov Arena, and usual Tarkov got linked. So I'm quickly gonna go through the patch notes and uh, explain what's happening. So first of all, uh, Arena and NFT were synchronized. Right now, if you play Arena, all the skills that you get, all the XP from the fights that you get goes straight to your main character. So long story short, whenever wipe happens, you can just play uh, Arena for like 7 hours and you will hit level 15 in the main game without even having a single raid in the main game. And you will also get like some rubles that you can transfer from Arena to EFT as well as you will level up your skills like Strength, Endurance and uh, Weapon Mastering. Uh, so yeah. On top of that there is a new trader known as Host or a Referee that's been added to Arena. Uh, referee provides services of transferring rubles from Arena to Tarkov and from Tarkov to Arena. And on top of that, you will be able to uh, buy different items from him. We can actually see them on the flea market. So if we do weapons and we have a look at butter offers from traders only, we can see different items from referee. For example, the new sword, uh, the modded out uh, Lapua MK18. Um, Six Spear is available as well, M4, Lone Star, uh, AK, and he's got many, many guns which you can buy for GP coins. I think you can still buy, you can still find GP coins in the usual Tarkov and you get GP coins for doing weeklies and dailies in Arena. And one daily in Arena roughly gives you like 20, maybe 30 GP coins. Maybe it's also based on your level. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's not, it's not too difficult to get those GP coins from Arena dailies and uh, weeklies. Also, he will uh, have some trades for Liga medals. That's something you get from weekly quests in Arena that take more time to do. I'm unsure what kind of items he sells for Liga um, coins, because I haven't seen them yet, but... I assume something like the sword is probably being sold for Liga items. Uh, maybe armband, maybe something else. There is a new armband that you can buy from the new trader. Uh, but yeah, you can transfer rubles and items from Arena to Tarkov. And if you transfer it from Tarkov, from Arena to Tarkov, there is a 20% commission fee, which I'm going to show you in a second. And for items, it's 5% uh, commission fee. In order to unlock the new trader, you need to do a quest from Skier called Easy Money Part 1. So if we go to Skier Quests, there is a quest Easy Money Part 1. It's not uh, too difficult. You can find the quests on Tarkov Wiki right now. You need to collect three different journals on woods uh, around the uh, Yusuk camp with all the locations shown on the screenshots. And then you need to stash those journals on different maps and locations are shown as well. So the quest is not too difficult to do. And after that, you unlock uh, you unlock the new trader. Then you will be able to get uh, more quests from the new trader called uh, balancing. Um, you need to kill scavs using a specific equipment. Then you need to kill PMCs using specific equipment. So there is a lot of quests in Tarkov. So I'm not sure if there will be quests in Arena as well, or it's only daily and weekly Arena quests through which you can level him up. Because like right now, if you go to Arena, you can level his reputation up doing those weeklies and dailies and i'm not sure if there are any items locked behind arena quests so we are yet to see that also as far as i know um eod edition uh, got uh, some buffs for example you can buy 20 percent more bullets from different traders so if i was able to buy 100 bullets from uh 100 BP bullets from proper now can buy 120. Uh, I think that's available only for EOD and the unheard editions that upgraded from EOD. And that's about it. Let's have a look at how the transfer from Arena to Tarkov looks like. So whenever we open Arena, there is a trader menu that we can click on. This takes us to the referee. Uh, we can check our daily, weekly quests that give us GP coins as well as some reputation with the referee. And the weekly quest gives me three uh, Liga medals that I will be able to use somehow in the future and he also has services so if we click on services it takes us to the arena stash it's really huge it's 10 by 300 squares much bigger than in Tarkov and you can transfer items items can we transfer items no um, yeah no we can transfer rubles 
as well as items. Okay, so there is a limit of uh, half a million for me right now, I guess, daily. Uh, transfer to EFT, 500,000 rubles and all the GB coins. All right, I guess I have to wait for the transfer for a couple of seconds. Uh, and it's done. Now we're going to open EFT and see what's up. So whatever we open EFT up, we get a message from the system. We get a message from referee, uh, transfer from arena. And we just click get and we get exactly what we transferred. So I get 500,000 uh, rubles as well as some, some GB coins. And that's how it works. And once again, uh, the new trader is not available in PVE. However, there should be a method through which you can transfer items and rubles from arena to the PVE without even using the trader. And uh, that's all the news I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share down in the comments below what you think about this update. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.